due to this. You know, power slide doesn't work on bikes. But that doesn't matter, because today we will talk about power slide on inline skates. Power slide is one of the basic and most popular slides on inline skates. Each decent city skater should have it in his arsenal. It is rather simple, it's stable and it has the proper skating sound. You know inline skaters don't have klaxon, so sliding sound is the only way by which we can draw others' attention to us. Each slide consists of entrance and sliding position. The sliding position of power slide looks like this. The sliding foot is touching the ground by all four wheels of the inside edge. It looks like you are trying to cut the thin slice of a surface. The second foot rolls on four wheels and points in the direction opposite to the movement. So second foot is a wheel and first foot is a brake. By changing angle and pressure of the first foot, you can control the length and the speed of the slide. Different types of power slide could be classified by entrance in two ways. First, by the movement before the slide, forwards and backwards. Second, by the sliding leg movement, with the constant contact with surface or without it. These classifications create the matrix of four different types of power slide. Let's start from the forward power slide with constant contact. This is the most popular way of power sliding, but not the simplest one. Before starting practicing each slide, I recommend you to try it in the stable position. Like this. Just slide one foot until you feel yourself comfortable and hear the proper sound. It could differ depending on the surface, but you will understand it. Now we are ready. Start with a forward movement. Bend your knees. Good. Your sliding foot should be a little bit behind. Move your sliding foot ahead, creating a small curve, like you are going to turn. The foot should be already on the inside edge. Then it will be on the same level with the other foot or a little bit in front of it, straighten it out abruptly, simultaneously bending the other foot deeper and turning it with the toe pointing to the opposite direction. This turn should give an additional push to your sliding leg. The movement should be abrupt and simultaneous. That's the point. It reminds me the technique of karate's mawashigiri. Just google it and you will understand what I am talking about. So that's it. The slide is done. The next type of power slide that we will talk about is the power slide from forwards without constant contact. Or power slide from the jump. It's actually the easiest type of the power slide if you know how to make 180 jump. The slide here is straight, without any curve. I also suggest you to try it holding something at first. That's easy. Just jump 180 and prepare sliding foot in the air. As soon as you earthen with the other foot, you can strengthen the sliding one. Don't forget that the rolling foot should be bent enough. The other error that could happen is that you will put your sliding foot to the side from the direction of the movement. You can lose your balance and fall. If first type of power slide is mawashi, this one is something like Lukeng's kick in the jump. These were the two types of forwards power slide. Next time we will discuss the backwards power slide and also one other type of this slide that I call lazy power slide. Don't forget to subscribe, like the video and hit the bell to not miss the second part of the tutorial. That was Nick Zvi. Goodbye.